One of the most closely watched contests in the San Joaquin Valley is the race for California's 9th Congressional District. Democrat Josh Harder is running for his fourth term. He faces three Republican challengers, businessman Khalid Jeffrey, athletic performance coach John McBride, and Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln. It is going to be a contest between Kevin Lincoln and Josh Harder. Um, Republican and Democrat. Dr. Keith Smith is chair of the political science department at University of the Pacific. He explains why the 9th district, which includes the population centers of Stockton, Lodi and Tracy, is friendly territory for Democratic candidates. As people from the Bay Area moved to the Central Valley, the district that had been built as a Republican district became increasingly Democratic. But has the incumbent Democrat met his match in Kevin Lincoln, a man whose resume includes Marine veteran, former security company manager, pastor, and current mayor of a large city? Kevin Lincoln having a strong name recognition here in the district, having a good reputation in the district, his personal biography is compelling, right? He's going to have a chance um, in a way that almost any other Republican who was going to run for the district would not. But Josh Harder is the incumbent in a heavily Democratic district, and so is probably going to be favored in the district simply because of voter registration and voting histories here. Considering the delicate balance of power in the House, this race will likely be watched closely on a national level come election night. Right now, Congress is incredibly tight, so every seat matters, right? The Republicans have a two-seat majority right now in the House of Representatives, so holding on to the seat for the Democrats makes it more likely that they can be the majority party. Because Kevin Lincoln is running for Congress, not re-election as mayor, the voters of Stockton will be choosing a new mayor, and they have several candidates with city government experience to choose from. Jesus Andrade has served on city council. Fugazi has served on city council. Wright has served on council. Tom Patty has been on the county commission. In addition, Jessica Velez, who's been doing some work in nonprofits, in the city has a, because of her work in the way that she interfaces with the city has a good understanding of what's going on and kind of where the points of influences influence can be what the limitations of the office are. A sixth candidate, businessman Shaquille Ahmad, did not file an official campaign photo or candidate statement. Whoever the voters choose, the selection could shape the future of a city still looking to separate from a challenging past. We have the background of bankruptcy, right? We have, we still are dealing with that and the image that that brought and how do we build ourselves and project ourselves as a vibrant community that people want to move to? Um, how do we get the economic investment in the city, um, redeveloping downtown, redeveloping areas around downtown? For any election day contest, San Joaquin Valley or elsewhere, the political science professor leaves us with some sage advice leading up to election day. I would just encourage people to go directly to the sources. Um, so go to the candidates themselves for information rather than trusting anything that you see on social media. In Stockton, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.